Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Sims 3 Super Sim Self series. I am Tianic and we are back today with Beth Simi. It is a very, very chilly morning up here in my office right now, so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit like, ooh, very cold. But uh, yeah, we're back. Thank you all so much for the love on the last episode. I feel like you all were very much in favor and support of my proposed changes to the Sims 3 Super Sim Self series with just making a little bit of a shift in the gameplay and focusing in a little bit on some family gameplay and career development for the next little while while Beth Simi is of course going to start having some babies. I've just realized that there's a light there that's not in the right spot after my renovations. Let me just fix that. There we go. <laughs> but so I have been giving it a lot of thought in terms of what career I would like Beth Simi to get into to start off with. And if you didn't know, in The Sims 3, there are so, so, so many careers and professions that your Sims can have. Like if we take a look at Carl's Sims 3 guide, which is pretty much your one-stop shop for everything Sims 3, if I'm being honest. Oh my God, my tabs have gotten out of hand again. Okay, I need to fix this. Anyway, Sims 3 careers, jobs and professions in The Sims 3, we have all of these there are so many plus you can be self-employed in a variety of different ways too you can be a self-employed sculptor or artist or whatever else and so i have given it a lot of thought and first thing i want to ask you guys is with this super sim cell series do we think that we want beth to do all of these careers herself or should we extend it to the family in general where we have like a super sim family who try to cover all the careers let me know in the comments because this is going to be a lot for just beth to do but i have been giving it a lot of thought and i've decided that to get us started beth is going to start off being a singer and that is because beth is of course based a little bit on me she's meant to be my sim self and i always wanted to be a singer and actress when i was little that was my dream was to be a singer and actress and so i thought it would be fun to start her off being a singer and then it, once we reach the top of the singer career we could maybe pivot to acting next and I don't know I just thought that would be really fun. So I believe to become a singer we need to join the singer profession and I think oh come on Sims 3 don't crash on me don't crash on me I've been having so many issues with the Sims 3 crashing recently. Uh, this is actually my second attempt at recording this video because my first attempt we just had so many crashes it was just ridiculous. <laughs> anyway I think we need to come to City Hall and we need to not register in self-employed. So these are all the things you can register as in terms of self-employed. So gardener, scuba diver, alchemist, horsewoman, band, bot builder, writer, nectimator, nectimaker, sculptor, angler, photographer, inventor and paper painter like those are all <laughs> we could we could register as a self-employed uh, person in any of those things maybe maybe we actually need to use a computer in which case uh, I might need to get ourselves a little computer desk because I've got a laptop, but I don't actually have anywhere to put it other than our kitchen table, which is probably less than ideal. So let's just grab a cheap desk and a really cheap and nasty desk chair. We love to see it. There we go. And then pop Beth's laptop up there. And then jobs and professions, find a profession. Let's see if we can do it this way. So to become a singer, you first of all just pretty much deliver these ridiculous little things called singergrams to the other people around the neighborhood. And I believe you can also sing for tips. Singer, here we go. Singergram novice. Weekly stipend is 275. Being a singer is all about singing and to really succeed, you'll need to be willing to belt it out anywhere. You'll start off singing for tips on the street and performing singergrams for money. But if you show real promise, you'll soon be on your way to sold out gigs and superstardom. I mean, that sounds like what we want. And then we need to enter a stage name for our performer. So we don't want everyone to know that we're Beth, obviously. So, hmm, what do we want to make a stage name? Sour Fretless? I don't think so. Okay, I've thought about it a little bit and I've had an idea. I'm gonna name, I'm gonna make a stage name Stephanie. And that is because when I was growing up, everyone would always call me Stephanie instead of Bethany, my actual name. And it used to drive me nuts, but um, I don't know, it could just be a fun little fun little thing. So right now we can deliver singergrams, we can perform for tips and we can get gigs, but we can't actually do this until we're level two or higher. So right now at level one, we can only perform for tips and deliver singergrams. So I was thinking we might just come over to the park here and perform for tips. Maybe just if hopefully some other Sims will turn up to the park today. <laughs> this is one of the showtime parks. So hopefully at some stage we will be able to perform here, but I've noticed that this park, it doesn't have a proprietor. So I don't know how we would go about getting gigs here because there's no proprietor that we can audition for. 
So that would make that a bit tricky. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sing for tips. And now something else that's a little weird about The Sims 3, and I really do feel like this is a major most opportunity, is that there's not actually a singing skill. That's very loud. Oh my gosh. So you can hear, obviously, Beth is already apparently a really good singer. Zenzi growl! These songs are like embedded in my psyche, I think. But yeah, so she's already a really, really good singer. And I feel like I just don't understand why they didn't make an actual singing skill. I believe there's a hidden singing skill that you can develop by singing a lot of karaoke. But like, why would you miss that opportunity and not do that? Oh! Oh, I wonder if that's our proprietor for this lot. Oh, yay! We have a proprietor now! Oh, that's fantastic! Also... Okay, so Lilith and Dirk Pleasant Dreamer are here listening to me. Oh dear. Um, so I've I've actually gone ahead and fixed this already in NRAS settings, in the story progression settings, but I had my marriage name set to be hyphenated. Don't actually want them to be hyphenated, so I am just gonna come in here, Master Controller, rename Sim. So it's gonna be Lilith. She can be Lilith Dreamer now, I think. And then the same with the same with um, Dirk here, and I also feel like I need to fix his hair because he's wearing a witch hat for unknown reasons. So Dirk, Dreamer. But yeah, I've also noticed this around town uh, because in the episode that I scrapped, I, I had a bunch of these Sims running around with these witches hats. I don't know why this is happening. It seems very odd, but a lot of the Sims when they've been aging up have been getting assigned witches hats. I don't get it. But in terms of fixing this, I tend to just go into dresser and re-roll uh, hair. We can re-roll hair for current only or re-roll all hair. I'm just going to re-roll all hair and see what we got. Ugh. Okay, no, I don't like that either. Maybe we'll actually come in here and go into stylist and I'll fix up Dirk Dreamer because Dirk, you got to have, you got to have proper hair, man. What the heck is... Why, why do you have why do you have blonde button chops gosh dang okay in terms of his hair i would like something that looks somewhat ethnic um yeah i need some more good like uh black hairs in in ts3 because i i have a bunch in the sims 2 now that i got but i don't have a lot for sims 3 and i would like more we could go like for a really close shave yeah i think we're gonna go with that uh you can keep your earrings dude sure that looks so much better, there we go. But yeah, so there's not, as I was saying, there's not actually a proper singing skill in in The Sims 3. And I feel like it was such a missed opportunity. I thought the Showtime expansion pack in general was really good, but also just such a missed opportunity for recreating The Sims 1 Superstar, which as you know, is like the best Sims 1 expansion pack ever. And just doing it better with like more skills and more opportunities and stuff. I like a lot of the, the things that they brought into Showtime, like getting gigs at different places around town and everything. But like, we have a little crowd here actually. But yeah, why not make it like a proper singing skill? That's just so weird to me. I know they did it in The Sims 4. Okay, so awesome. We do have a proprietor now. That's amazing. Hey bestie. If you've forgotten, we're actually like good friends with uh, Brandy Broke in this one. Take a photo with a friend, sure. Sorry, in this one, in this uh, Let's Play. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit back here. <laughs> Apparently the singing music tracks are not affected by my audio settings and options. Uh, so in here I've got like everything turned down quite low. If you can see here, like especially voices and music is actually on mute. But apparently the singing music tracks are not affected by that. <gasps> Look at this, oh my gosh! Dirk and Lilith have a kitten name magic and it's the cutest kitten in the world i've got to rename it but oh my god how cute are you <laughs> yep yep we definitely need to get some pets oh a sale at the bookstore and we've been hired to before singing grams watch out for calls later in the day okay um a sale at the bookstore that's actually pretty epic because we are pregnant and in the sims 3 you need to get yourself some pregnancy books that you can read so you can like learn about parenting to have a better baby. Is anyone going to give me a tip? You've all been listening to me for a while. Oh, Brandy tipped me eight bucks. Thanks. Be thanks, bestie. 
Yay, eight simoleons. We're doing so well. But yeah, bookstore, bookstore sale. That's actually really handy. So let's, um, I'm trying not to zoom all the way out to hood view because it's been really, really glitchy for me lately. But let's go, yeah, let's go here and shop, shop for books and let's get some pregnancy books while we wait for our first Instagram call to come in, which I'm sure will not be far away. Darren's having a lot of errors. Here we go. Lilith Dreamer got yelled at today. Oh no, she's feeling down and needs a Instagram to cheer her up. Don't worry, Lilith. We will be right back to cheer you up. Uh, just let me, just let me buy some books. I wonder who yelled at her. Is she still at the park? Is someone at the park yelling at you? I don't, don't feel good about that. So where are the, um, they're not in childhood development, are they? That would make sense to me, but no, apparently they're not. So are they in general? Got like a white cover. Here we go. Totally preggers, an expected mother's tale. And there's another one. Yes, baby incoming, prepare with vigilance. Okay, let's buy those two books. Oh, she's leaving? No, 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 don't go anywhere. I'm coming to perform your singogram job. Wait, Lilith. Okay, she got back out of the car. I'm so sorry someone yelled at you. Uh, don't worry. Beth is on the way to make you feel better. Don't get hit by a car. Alright, here we go. Once they figure out their routing. Oh, she gets a little freezer bunny. Look at us go, our first ever Singagram. You're welcome, Lilith. And we got 34 simoleons. So yeah, if we take a look now at our job experience, we've got a little bit from our singing for tips and from delivering that Singagram. We're actually a little, a little uh, lonely. So maybe let's chat with Lilith a little bit. Or we could chat with the proprietor. Okay, well, let's just say, let's do a charming introduction with Sadie and just start making friends with her because being friends with proprietors is helpful. Nice glasses. We want to take a photo of her. Sure. I feel like uh, she needs... Wait, what? She. I was about to say that I feel like Sadie needs a makeover and then I saw this. <laughs> um. Hi, Daniel. Are you doing okay? Why are you wearing a creepy mask? Oh, good. He thinks we're attractive. I think I think I need to fix this. Uh, let's just come into stylist room. I'm not even doing the stylist profession, but look at me just like... What in the heck are you wearing? Oh my word. Okay, let's give you a better hairstyle for a start. You're Daniel freaking Pleasant, man. Silver Fox Daniel Pleasant. I really need to figure out how the blacklist feature of the dresser mod works because apparently I got some stuff I got a blacklist. Why are you wearing this? Okay, so does that fix his hairstyles and everything in every category? Okay, I'm not going to bother going through every category of his clothing, but all right. <laughs> Just them three things. Anywho, yeah, let's focus here on the uh, proprietor, Sadie. Yeah, she looks like she could also use a bit of a makeover, to be honest. Maybe I should have gone into the stylist profession. <laughs> Become good friends with Sadie. All right, well, let's friendly ask about day. And just, uh... oh, we're friends already. I love that charming introduction. Oh, Simfest is starting. Ooh, I wonder if we're talented enough to perform in that. Honestly, probably not. She's flirty, friendly, and loves the outdoors. Oh, fantastic. Well, then we can enthuse about the outdoors, I believe. Maybe. Talk about the great outdoors, and she will love that. And I guess we'll ask her to pose and take a photo of her. Yes, we do love the great outdoors with the pigeons. Okay, yeah, let's take a photo of her. My friend! Haven't had any other Singagram jobs come in yet, so let's tell her a funny story. Man, when we get promoted and we can audition for her, she's going to give us a gig, no worries. Oh, hello. You're holding a child. Joseph Gills Carbo. Oh, what a little cutie. Um, I guess we can do some more performing for tips rather than just standing around. I mean, we are friends with Sadie now. Bella Goth! Oh, hey! Oh, Bella. What are you wearing? What has this game done to you? Jesus. There's a little sale going on over here. Oh, isn't this cute? He's having a little bake sale. 
Kyle. Well, she is. Mandy. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, we have to come and buy a brownie. Oh, a caramel brownie. Let's come and buy from this little kid. Oh, and we've got a Missy Henry just finished a great workout. Congratulate for her. Congratulate her for her dedication with a celebration singogram. Hey, we got tips and money. Yay. Look at us go. Okay, we're just going to buy a brownie and then we're going to go do this. Gets paid, immediately gives some money away. Can't, can't say no to a little kid. Also, there's another cat here. Jinx goth. Oh, aren't you cute? Bella's cat right here. What an interesting coat you have, my dear. But yes, you are very, very cute. All right, let's go get, do this singogram. Want to see if we can get promoted? Oh, we're at a hotspot. Sweet. Want to see if we can get promoted uh, to the second level of the singer career? Preferably today. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is John Burb with long hair and a witch hat. Why? Let's see if I can just re-roll hair. That's better. Yay! Congratulations on doing your workout. Oh, that one we only got 17 Smolians for. Oh, so the cheer up one we got more for. Don Lothario's here, Martin Jones here. Everybody's here today. Well, why don't we perform for tips? We might as well. So we're halfway towards level two so far. Okay. Bit of a one hit wonder right now, aren't we? We've got one song that we sing over and over again. <laughs> I'm not sure if when we actually get our baby bump, if we'll be actually able to continue developing our singer career. Didn't really think of that. Hopefully we will. Otherwise, I guess we could just earn money through other things at that point. Yes, we're bringing in the money. People love it. Although I, will, I won't lie, it would be great if we could um, get some more singograms because I think they give us more job experience. But that's okay. Our hygiene's going down quite quickly. Obviously, performing is quite hard work. Oh, good. Don Lothario thinks we're attractive. Excellent. Oh, we're so close. We're almost there, everyone. Let's go. Come on. Anyone want to give me more tips also? That'd be all right. Yay! Okay, so we just made level two. We are now a singer grand pro. We now make 340 per week, and we have a mission to go to the park and audition for a job. Yes, will do. Especially since it's just over here. Hey, hey, bestie. Uh, so I'm now a singing grand pro rather than a novice. What did we just do? Was that our audition? Oh my gosh! Your audition was great, Stephanie! We'd love to have you perform at the Showtown Park Friday 7.30. Okay, so that's tomorrow. Oh, and we earned 41 spoliums and tips. Nice! Hopefully we can do that while we're pregnant, because uh, that'd be awkward if we, can't, if we can't. I think Bethany's gonna get her baby bump fairly soon, but yeah, what a what a great day's work. We uh, made Singagram Pro, we made some money, and we got ourselves a gig. I mean, that's epic. Oh yeah, so in the in here you can click on gig schedule to have a look at what gigs you've got, and you could actually get steady gigs as well that get booked in. So when we're a bit higher up in the career, we could. Uh, you know, have a steady gig that we do every Thursday at the coffee shop or something, um, which would be, might be cool. All right. So in terms of reading, we haven't got a want to read a pregnancy book yet. I think that's because we're not showing. Oh, we have laundry spawning now. Oh, did I put a lot? I put a laundry basket up here, but she doesn't even actually, she doesn't actually have a washing machine. Oops. Uh, let's okay. Well, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a washing machine. A swashbuckler will do. That's pretty expensive. And then we'll be able to wash our clothes. There we go. Cool. We're going to have laundry. Oh. Aha. The moment I've been waiting for. Wow. <laughs> what an outfit. Okay. So we get the next four days off as maternity leave. Um, so does that mean we don't do our gig? 
Oh, Bubba. Oh, that's it. I wanted to do the gig. That's a shame. But yeah, this is apparently what Beth has uh, elected to wear while pregnant. Obviously, I mean, honestly, while you're pregnant, style goes out the window and comfort is king. So I guess that, that's what she's going for. I wonder if we could still go out and perform for tips. Because I'm not going to lie, I don't really want to be off work for four days. <laughs> All right, so I've just had Beth sit here, chill. You, you want to perform a gig at the park. Well, I would love you to do that, but you decided to take four days off. Yeah, Beth's just been sitting here chilling and reading some of her recipe books that we've been collecting from World Adventures. She's had her first pregnancy craving come in, which is for some spaghetti. So we're going to go ahead and make some spaghetti in a minute once we finish reading this book. And then she's pretty much going to go to bed, I think, have a good night's sleep. And then, yeah, maybe tomorrow we'll see if we can still go out and perform for tips. Uh, ooh, have a girl. Yes, I would love to have a girl. And buy a rocking chair. Oh, right. So you don't like the chair that we put in here. You want a rocking chair instead. I guess that's fair. There we go. That'll do. There's our rocking chair. Okay, and now she wants to become a business partner at several businesses. You know, I do love that for you. I don't think it's... Oh, you can check out Baby Bump. I wonder if that's a mod. I don't remember that interaction being in the game. And I did, I have downloaded a ton of like, um, oh, here we go. We want to read a pregnancy book. I have downloaded a ton of mods to do with pregnancy and childbirth and, and sorry, pregnancy and raising kids. So I wonder if that's actually a mod. I think it might be. Yeah, I would love to do this, but we only have 952 simoleons right now. So it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. But anyway, it's been a long day. Gotten a lot done after our spaghetti. I think we will go to sleep. <gasps> There's an aurora at the fishing spot. There's a unicorn there. Where are you? Is it you? Thunder horse. Oh my gosh, that's kind of creepy. It's a black unicorn. Wow, that's really cool. Alrighty, it is the next day. Beth has woken up more pregnant than she went to bed and is just having some yogurt. She's feeling a little sore and she kind of wants to go to the day spa and spend some money there. Probably not going to happen. We're going to spend this morning reading one of these books. We might just start with Baby and Coming, Prepare with Vigilance. Then once she's done this, we'll probably have her take a shower and then we'll see if we can go earn a little bit more money. She's uh, She wants to actually spend a thousand simoleons at the day spa, but yeah, we, we didn't have a thousand simoleons to spend, honey, so that's probably not going to happen. Not going to lie. We also... Whoa. We have 923 simoleon bills to pay. Oh, dear. That's not great. We may have to sell off some uh, collected things over here <laughs> so we can pay for that. Oh, mama. That's not great. See, the thing is, yeah, our lot value right now is 97,000 smolians because of all our collectibles. So our bills are going to be really, really high when, uh, yeah, we don't actually have that much money. So that's going to be a problem. It is also getting a lot colder. So you can see my plants actually went dormant overnight and have gotten frozen over. I think it's, yeah, it's eight degrees Celsius right now, 13 days to winter. I think they'll probably come back to life during the day, but maybe go dormant overnight. So our gardening, uh, we might get a little bit of a break from all of the gardening that we have to do daily with Beth at the moment too. There we go. We read our pregnancy book. Fantastic. So she will now be, so basically that now gives us the opportunity to name out, uh, sorry, pick the traits for our kid. Like we'll have a, a better pregnancy because we read the pregnancy book. Now we did get a bunch of stuff in the mail just now, uh, from sending off things to get cut and what not. So this is only going to add to our lot value. <laughs> oh dear. So we've got three platinum ingots right now. Maybe we'll add one more to the pile and then sell that one for an extra 560. Or maybe we'll sell them both. Yeah, we'll actually sell those both for an extra thousand simoleons. I do think that makes the most sense at this point in time with where we're at. Uh, the rest of these gems. I don't know. I guess we need more shelves, don't we? All right. So we are up for the day. We are dressed somewhat. Let's just see. Can we come over here and sing for tips? Just to see if we can get a little bit more money and possibly more job experience, even though we're technically on maternity leave. By the look of it, it's not actually going to be that long at all until our baby's born. Like I'm thinking maybe tonight or tomorrow. 
Possibly. Oh, you're wearing a, uh, a suit today. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. Hi, bestie. It's a nice suit. I like that. Uh, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this this is part of the mods that I downloaded. Uh, if you're interested in mods for like kids in The Sims 3, go to Mod The Sims, Sims 3 section, because it's incredible. But look at this. Baby, we can talk to. We can rub our belly, give a kiss, and sing to our belly. <laughs> so good. Anyway, sorry, got distracted there. Uh, so singer, we can't perform for tips. Oh, poo. Well, I guess that's not going to happen. We could also grab our guitar, maybe, and play our guitar for some tips. I'm pretty sure we can do that. Play for tips. We can play the guitar for tips. Oh, that's hilarious. We can't sing for tips, which arguably would be a lot easier. <laughs> Then standing here with a guitar with our pregnant belly poking through uh, to play music all day. Okay, sure, Sims 3. Gather round, friends. Pregnant superstar in hot pink track pants playing money for tips because she's broke. Oh, they left. They literally were like, nah, and left. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a high chair. Sure, we can buy a high chair. Okay, well, this baby, this baby is not actually the fastest way for us to earn money right now. Maybe what we could do instead is go looking for collectibles. So we do have this area over here, which seems like it should be a spot that gets collectibles. I'm not seeing any. Collection helper would be useful right about now. Okay, we do have a seed, an unknown special seed. Ooh, let's go pick that up. I guess running around collecting stuff is also not really something you'd really want to do while pregnant, but... Hey ho. Uh, we could also try this lot where the unicorns were last night. Love the autumn vibes everywhere right now. It is quite beautiful. I wonder if we could find some like stray cats and dogs anywhere. Wouldn't mind trying to bring home a stray cat or dog and make them our own. Oh, I like this one. Can we adopt this horsey as our own? We don't have enough room on our lot for pet horsies right now, but I would like it if we did. Okay, not seeing any stray animals just yet. <laughs> Apparently our magic gnome is uh, looking at our plant here going, hmm, interesting, a pecan tree. All right, now we did pick up an unknown special seed, so I do want to plant that. And we got some sulfur that we can also sell. So let's sell that. Let's plant that there. We got two tiny, tiny space rocks. We will analyze them just in case they're worth any more money. And then sell those 14 and 16 amazing uh let's have a piece of cake for lunch because again you're pregnant eat whatever you want there are some butterflies over here that we could try to catch I like how i'm telling beth to run around and collect all of these things and she's literally so pregnant she's just waddling around like yeah i'll get there eventually right oh i forgot we've been invited to a party oh maybe we should take a little nap then get a massage probably not gonna happen Yes, no, I did forget we'd been invited to a party. So let's just take a little nap. Just get some energy, freshen up a little bit. Oop, I think our magical gnome just moved somewhere. And then, oh, someone's died. Old age. RIP. Is this our party invite? Let's see. Uh, answer phone? Yay! All right, Belagos party is starting soon. Let's go. Probably should have got ourselves a new outfit before we left for the party. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so Bella lives in this little wood cabin, which is recreated from uh, The Sims 2. <laughs> wow, this is going to be quite the party. Hey, I love your cat. Would you mind if I adopted it? Okay, let's uh, say hi. Let's friendly. In Apparently, we have to friendly introduction with Bella, even though she invited us to her party. Okay, we're at a party in a tiny log cabin with two little old ladies. <laughs> Oh gosh, I mean, th th I guess this is our lives. There's not enough room in here to perform with our guitar. Oh, come on. Cat, get out of the toilet. What are you doing? No, don't scare her with the megaphone. Oh, this is just embarrassing at this point, isn't it? All right, well, I guess we could at least this use this opportunity to talk with Bella a little bit and just become friends with her. Get to know her a little bit, offer her a makeover maybe. Jin Ai is like super rude and she keeps like heckling us as well for some reason. And the cat is sleeping on the one chair in this little cabin. Wow. 
What a party! Uh, sorry, that's my phone ringing. <laughs> Assist painter at City Hall before the time runs out to increase the value of all your paintings. Yeah, right, sure. Let's, uh, let's go do that. Sorry, that call was, like, really important and I gotta go. But enjoy your party, ladies! Hey, thanks for coming to my party! Yeah, anytime, Bella, anytime. All right, well, that actually took hours. It is now 10.30 p.m., but we have finished assisting the painter dude for higher value paintings ourselves. So that's great. Uh, what a way to spend a Friday night. I don't know what was worse, being at the party with the two little old ladies or helping a painter at City Hall. Anyway, either way, I'm going to send Beth home now and we're going to have her get another good night's sleep. And then hopefully in the morning... We'll have a Nubu. Let's see how we go. Alrighty, and it is another beautiful morning here in Legacy Island. We have woken up this morning with a want to fall in love, which I think is quite sweet, uh, but it's probably not something we're going to be doing anytime soon. Sorry, Beth, you are on your own with this baby. I would understand being a little nervous about that, though, for sure. So anyway, we have just gotten up, had some pancakes broken our kitchen sink, which is less than ideal. We're going to go take a shower get ready for our day and I'm sure this baby is going to be coming sometime soon so it's just a matter of what do we want to do with our day in the meantime super random jump cut it's a different day <laughs> oh man parenthood yeah no sorry guys uh got interrupted did he get back to recording the rest of the video the other day when I was recording the first half of the video now we're back with part two but anyway we were about to get started on basically our final day of baby watch when the recording got rudely interrupted by my real baby but so the couple of things that I want to get done today uh, I've been mentioning in this episode that I really do want to get Beth some pets so I think we should go ahead and ap adopt maybe a cat and a dog into our super sim challenge just for the fun and uh, the way we do that i believe we can either keep an eye out for strays or i think it's an interaction on the computer in the sims 3 if i'm remembering correctly um yay any less level level five go beth sim uh but yeah so i think yeah, we've got adopt a pet from a shelter. And then sometimes there's also like neighborhood pet adoptions that pop up where people have like litters of puppies or kittens and you can go and adopt a pet from one of your neighbors. But we don't have any of those available at the moment. So yeah, right. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, who do we want to get? Oh my gosh. Okay. So we have Wesker, who is an adult mixed breed, who is aggressive, skittish and independent. Mm. Festa, a mixed breed kitten who is a genius. Festa does look really cute. I'm very tempted by Festa. We have Turbo, who is a mixed breed kitten, non destructive and lazy. Could be okay. Mura, who is a mixed breed adult, noisy, piggy, and independent. Mm. Ratchet, who is an elder, a proud elder cat. And Diddy, who is a another elder cat, a playful, skittish, and friendly. I am kind of partial to the idea of getting like a baby animal, like baby, baby cat, baby dog. So in terms of kittens, we've got Fester or Turbo. I kind of want to go with Fester, the genius cat. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to leave his name as Fester, but if you guys have ideas for other names, it, let me know in the comments. And then can we adopt a dog as well right away? No, okay, your pet is on the way. Please wait until your pet arrives before making another adoption. Okay, I guess that's fair. <laughs> well, while we wait, let's take care of the garden here, which is dying off a little bit because it's undormented. And let's get some pet essentials happening, shall we? So let's jump into buy mode and let's head into pets so here in the cat section there's obviously a variety of things we can get i do think i kind of want to go just with the cat condo yeah this just makes everything easy right because then instead of buying a separate bed and scratching post and everything we've just got the cat condo for for fester so let's go ahead and get that 575 smolians is a little pricey we're also going to want a food bowl um so we'll get one of those and then probably one of these like little little wall toy things maybe we can put one of those put one of those there uh the cat condo is not actually going to go there by the way I'm, I'm actually thinking of putting it over here in this corner so if we could just squeeze the video game console over there oh we can't put it right in the corner apparently well that's okay it can go there and then we'll just move this little 
photograph. And speaking of photographs, I do think it would also be a good idea to uh, take a look through our photos that we've been taking because we have quite a few and it probably needs to be sorted out. We do also need a little box for the kitty. Let's get a blue one to go in our laundry. And then since we are also going to be getting a dog, we might as well go ahead and get some stuff for the dog as well. Oh, the dogs get more food bowls. Oh, cute. Well, we can get a little chew toy for the doggy that we're going to get. Uh, they can share a food bowl. I think that's fine. And then I, I'm thinking we're probably going to go with a small dog. So let's get a little bed for the small dog, which can go up in Beth's room. Uh, now it feels unfair that the cat doesn't get a bed in Beth's room too. Should I see if I can squeeze two beds in here? One for the cat, one for the dog? I don't really know how- you know what, the cat can sleep on the bed. It's not like where we've got a partner who needs to sleep on the bed instead, so that should be fine. But yeah, so if we take a look at her camera and we've got 1,924 simoleons worth of photos. So if we were to sell them, we would make a lot of money. But I was more thinking I would like to just delete, yeah, like these ones, which are obviously rubbish. And this random dude we don't need. I do want to keep some of them uh, for the for the memories and to go on display in our museum one day as well. Could be cool. Uh, so some of our world adventures pictures I do kind of want to keep. Like th this one of a French market's a beautiful shot. The red rosebud I can probably sell. But yeah, I'm just going to sort through all these pickies and work out which ones I want to keep versus sell and see if we can just make a little bit of money from this. Yeah, see, this is a great photo of a giant boulder. Mm, probably, probably don't need that one. Oh dear, and we've just had a pop-up saying there's only one day left to pay our bills, 923 simoleons. <laughs> yeah, it's not left us with a ton of money, has it? Maybe if we have a little bit of time today, we could actually go around and uh, see if we can take some more photos and sell them, because we do actually get quite a bit of money for selling photos these days, because we are a very skilled photographer. <laughs> okay, now this one. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe with this one we'll put it up in baby's room. <laughs> this is a photo of your daddy. <laughs> you will probably never see him, but if you're ever curious, that's what he looked like. <laughs> is that a little mean? I don't know. Snake charmer. See, like this photo of the Sphinx. This is amazing. I would actually like to like uh, get a larger print of this photo. I don't know if there's any way to do that, but yeah, I would love to have a larger version of that photo because I love it. I think it's amazing. Maybe can we use the photo and paint from reference? I don't know. But okay, so that's made us, that has made us a little bit of money. And then do we have any, no, we don't have any photos on our, on our phone camera right now. Okay, well, yeah, maybe we could like go around town a little bit today and take some pickies or we might be able to take some pickies of our new pets when they get here because I'm pretty sure there is a whole section of... Oh, you're having an acne breakout? Oh, no. <laughs> you okay? I can't see any pimples, honey. You're doing fine. Uh, embarrassed from acne too. Oh, dear. I didn't even know adults could get that. Uh, let's... Can we like wash our face or... Put on, oh, we could put on acne toner. There we go. Let's go put on acne toner. <laughs> Hopefully our cat will be here soon. Oh, I don't have any sound for my guitar today. Why is that Simsory? Oh, we want to be best friends with Festa, which means he's here. Hello. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, hello. Oh, aren't you the cutest little thing? Look at your little nose. Oh, <laughs> I love him. He is ops. Fell over, whoopsie. Oh, I love him. I love him. I love him. We're going to talk to him and pick him up. We also want to let him sniff our hand. Affection, let's sniff hand maybe. Maybe instead of picking him up, we'll let him sniff our hand first. I feel like that would be a good idea. And then we need to go ahead and adopt our, our puppy as well. So him and the puppy can grow up together and be the best of friends. Okay, let's pick him up and take him inside because we don't want him going anywhere, getting run over by a car. That would be devastating. Let's go here. We want to smooch a held pet. You know what? Yes, I love that for you. Uh, so we could pet him. Actually, I don't know if we're allowed to smooch him until we get a better relationship. Oh, little cutie. Affection. Well, let's feed him a treat. We'll pop him down and feed him a treat. 
John Burb and Jennifer Bird have been seen arm in arm out on the town. They are such cutie pies together. Yes, they are. And then, yeah, let's come over here and adopt another pet. Oh, God. You're not awake already, baby girl. Come on, Mama's trying to get some stuff done. Let me finish my episode, please, darling. Please. <laughs> please. Okay, let's have a look at the doggies and see what puppies are available. Hello, cuties. Okay, so it looks like we've got a couple of adult dogs. We've got a puppy here who is playful and proud. Tula. T Tula. Playful and proud. Bear, who is a little dog who is skittish and clueless. Mm. Mikey is a puppy who is sh not destructive, shy, and proud. Ika is an elder. And then Dusty is shy, quiet, and a hunter. Ooh, hunter is a very useful trait because then they can go and, like, find stuff for you. Also, schnauzer. I don't think I can go past the schnauzer. I think we have to get the schnauzer. I'm very tempted by little Chula over here as well. She's very cute. But... I don't think we I don't think we could go past a schnauzer. Let's get a schnauzer. I'm gonna again leave his name as Dusty, but if you guys have suggestions for a different name, you can let me know in the comments. Where's my kitty kitty? What you doing? Let's see if we can uh, take a photo of him. Yeah, that's your food bowl, buddy. Yes, that smell good. You want some food? And let's actually use our phone because taking photos on our phone is free. Okay, so here's my pet. Get a photo. Hello, baby bump. And let's take another photo of a cat. There we go. Now, he's being very cute just rolling around on the floor here. Um, I think I'm going to sell those two, but then I do want to get a better one of him where I can actually see his little face properly. And hopefully... Ah, well, they're like trying to get him mid-roll. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get that one. That's our photo of our pet. <laughs> What a cutie! All right, let's uh, affection, talk to affection. Let's sniff hand. And with uh, the Sims 3, of course, you can view the pets at all time. You can like play with them. You can do anything you want. Oh, Magic Dreamer is unroutable. Oh dear. Also, should we actually get like, is the cat gonna be okay just with this thing on the wall, or should we get this like pet toy crate? And then open, yeah, there's like some other pets in here. Maybe the kitty would like to play with the ball of yarn. Kitty, you're watching the bug. Uh, can you, no, come back inside and play with the toy. I'm gonna have to pause and see if I can get my baby to go back to sleep. Again. <laughs> I gotta say the Sims 3's pets expansion was very very well done just top tier okay so while we wait for the doggy to arrive we are just doing a little bit of a painting and then hopefully a doggo will get here soon and then maybe the rain will stop and we can go out and take some more photos <gasps> here he is oh my gosh so here is little dusty <gasps> there he is oh my gosh look at the little face and the little Oh, too much cuteness. Too much cuteness! Okay, we want to be friends with both of our animals. You know what? That's fantastic. Hi, Darren! How are you? Yeah, let's uh, take him inside because it is very, very wet out here. Then we can maybe pat. Oh, okay, we put him down. Uh, affection. Are we going to play with him? Let's talk to affection feed tree. Affection let sniff hand and see if we can give him a little pat as well. Best to come and say hello to your new brother. You guys are going to be the best of friends. Oh, and let's take a photo of little Dusty as well. So let's uh, take a photo. And oh, that was a different one. Cute cat, pets in action. Yes, photo of that. And then let's take another photo of a dog yay not just a dog my dog and we just got photography level six amazing okay well let's we can change his name we can play tug of war let's play tug of war because we're a dog person oh is the is the toy crate in the way of getting to the pet bowl i didn't think of that maybe let's just see if we can pop that over there just in case it's stopping them from using the pet bowl Pet bowls in the Sims 2 can be really difficult for the animals to get to. All right, well, clearly she just wanted to be here for the birth of her mummy, her Sim mummies, first baby. 
didn't you? Oh, babies. We love them. Okay, you sit there. And then uh, back to the action. What are our animals doing? You are playing somewhere? You're just playing on the rug. Okay, so I actually honestly don't remember. Um, okay, yeah, we do, we do have reinforcement. So I can praise or scold for being hyper. Yeah, I don't actually remember how pets really work in this game. <laughs> it's been a while. So I don't know about, like, need to do with uh, reinforcement and things. But we'll see how we go. Now, in terms of our photography, the other thing we can try to take some pictures of are our gems and collectibles because there are actually a lot of... Uh, photography there's a whole photography section which is about gems and collectibles so yeah so we could take a photo of this luminorous gem which is worth 66 simoleons okay let's see what else we can get quartz cool let's take another photo whoop I mean, we can't really see what's up on our shelf but that's okay we don't really want to keep these photos anyway we just need to <laughs> We just need to get the uh, the thing. So, okay. That was pretty good, right? Um, what else do we need to get in, in that thing in collectibles? Uh, Tiberium and Mercury Vial. We have one of those up on our shelf. Geode, Opal, Tiberium's kind of... Canopic Jar set. Yeah, we could probably get that. China Statue set. Uh, dangerous Creatures, Dropa Stone set. Egyptian, Space Rock, Gold, Copper, Mummatomium, Silver, Rainbow Gem, Magic Gnome. Get a photo of a magic, magic gnome for sure. All right, let's uh, let's keep going here then. Let's see how he sees. Okay, so okay, we've got silver, and we're gonna get a lot of money for this. Gold, and take a photo of our space rock, and then take a photo Mercury vial. Nice. We just got photography skill level seven, apparently. We want to buy a nice camera, okay? And we want to get photography level eight. Let's uh, look into get, try to get photography level eight. Now, downstairs doesn't have any lights yet. Maybe, maybe we could get a light. Let's get a light for downstairs. Oh, we could actually do the lighting in here kind of cool. We could do lights over the uh, collectibles. That's kind of fun. They're cheap lights. Yeah, let's uh, let's come down here. Let's take some photos of some of these things. Let's see what we can get. Oh, uh, opal. Can't remember if we got that one before, but ooh, canopic jar set. Nice camera. Take a photo. Just keeps giving us a relic. Okay, well that's okay. So, uh, of all those cameras that we just took. I do want to keep the one of the cat and I want to keep that one. And then the rest of these, I'm going to sell. Photos, 899 civilians. Yes. <laughs> Taking photos of the stuff that we've already collected just got us a lot of money. Amazing. Oh, and we could get a photo of a magic gnome too. That was another one. I think the puppy is playing in the puddle, which was quite cute. Take a photo. Magic gnome. 239 simoleons for that photo. Oh, yeah. Puppy, where are you? What are you doing? You're playing. <laughs> what are you doing? Reinforcement. I mean, it's kind of cute. I don't really want to scold him for playing in the puddle. I think my animals are just going to end up being hyper. Now, we do want to eat an autumn salad at the park. Honey, it's really not the weather for it. I'm sorry. I, I see your desire to do that, and uh, I'm going to say it's probably a bad idea. All right, money, money. Dusty does appear to be quite obsessed with our bug collection. Not Dusty, sorry. Festa appears to be quite obsessed with our bug collection. <laughs> it's very cute. He's just watching them all. Yay, we made friends with the doggy. All right, Festa, you're next. What are you doing in here? You're still just obsessed with all the bugs. <laughs> this is, um... Oh, yes, let's actually praise him for being a hunter and watching the bugs because ideally I would like both of our animals to get that hunter trait. That's a, that's, that's a good one, yes. Go and find me rare, rare, rare and wonderful bugs from around the, uh, around the world, please, Festa. Yeah, let's see if we can also make friends with that cat. Uh, can we play? Oh, it's the moment I've been waiting for. 
She seems pretty... Yeah, there we go. I was like, are you okay? The baby is coming. Make sure Beth is at home or in the hospital so she can have a safe and comfortable birth. I think we're going to go have the baby at the hospital. I am someone who in real life was very much like, I want to be at hospital, surrounded by trained medical staff. Oh, Dusty was unroutable. You okay, buddy? What are you doing? Where are you trying to go? Come back in here and chew your chew toy. Oh, there you go. But yeah, I was like, take me to the hospital, surround me with people who are trained in medical emergencies and uh yeah and i mean obviously her birth i didn't get much of a choice <laughs> but with my son you know when there was a bit more of a choice i definitely wanted to be uh at the hospital emmy look mummy's gonna have a baby would you like a baby sibling Not gonna. <gasps> what are you doing someone just saw us in labor and is freaking out it's all right Sarafina. i'm gonna be all right Okay, this is taking a while. Hopefully the pets are okay at home. You okay, buddy? He's running around. <laughs> He's having a great time. Why don't you two make friends? Come and, uh, come and sniff. And uh, socialize while we wait for your new baby sibling to be born. Surely it won't be much longer. My goodness. Yay! It's a baby girl! Emmy, look, mummy's had a girl. <gasps> Since Beth's pregnancy went so well, you will be able to choose two traits for her to start out with in life. What would you like to name her? Well, in honor of my daughter, Amelia, let's name this baby Amelia. In honor of you, Missy Moo, uh, because I think that's I think that's sweet. And then now uh, we can pick traits, uh, or I could just randomize. Good and easily impressed. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I read the pregnancy book so I could, you know, we could have the opportunity to pick traits and then I just randomized him. That's fine. But look, here she is. Here's our little, little Nubu. She has a little baby outfit that I have downloaded and it looks like she might have her dad's color eyes rather than my blue eyes. But yay, Yusef is now the father of a baby girl. Beth just gave birth to a baby girl named Amelia. Excuse me, people crowding in front of the hospital. It's raining and I would like to take my daughter home. Okay, and she's grabbed the stroller that was in the nursery apparently and is using that so Whoa Are we okay Sims 3? Oh seriously, I think we have a I think we have a like a real um <laughs> A real problem here. Oh jeepers. Um Object. Should I just delete her? Is that safe to do in the Sims 3? I don't know how to like I was hoping to just be able to reset her. Maybe it's a thing in Enras Master controller. Can I reset this up? Oh, there it is, right there. Reset sim. Bye. Okay, are we okay now, Beth? There we go. Yep. <laughs> we had uh, we were having collision problems, but let's take our new baby girl home. We're getting a phone call. Hello. I wonder if it's Yusef calling to be like, I have a daughter. What? I hope you're not expecting child support. Could be. Um, and then otherwise, let's. Oh, and another thing that I forgot to buy that I wanted to buy actually for this for this little miss is a little baby swing because you know we gotta have a little baby swing under the stairs and we're gonna put Emmy in there and take a photo of her. Here you go, sweetie. And we can let's take a photo of our proper camera. Take a photo of my child. Only worth twelve bucks. Dude, I've, that's my kid. Let's take a, a bigger photo. You okay, Emmy? Okay, Dirk, it's not the time. I've just brought a baby home. Let's uh, try and take another photo of her. Are you going to look at me, Emmy? Or are you just going to sit there with your eyes shut? Ah, got it. I think I got a cute one. Yay! Okay, everybody. Well, that is where I'm going to leave this episode of The Sims 3 Super Sim Self Challenge. We now have a kitten, Vesta, a puppy dog, Dusty, and a baby girl, Amelia, named after this little one right here. So I hope that you all enjoyed this one. Uh, next time we'll be back, we'll get Beth to hopefully be able, hopefully she'll be able to do some more of her um singer career will obviously be raising baby emmy and having a lot of fun and then maybe we could also you know try to make a bit more money yes but maybe we could also invite uh jeffrey to stay long distance and, and have a baby with him too because i feel like 
I feel like he deserves it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a thumbs up and help me get this series hopefully out to more people on YouTube. Uh, leave any comments, thoughts, and suggestions down below. And if you're not subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. A big shout out as always, and thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love you all and I really appreciate your support and just encouragement on uh, on everything that I do. So thank you all very much. I will be back next week th with the next episode of The Sims 3, hopefully. So until then, I hope you all have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.